Hello and welcome to a special MSTS Studios look back at services on the Great Eastern during the early 1990s. Our journey today starts at Shenfield and we take a cab ride to South End on Sea. We run to Wickford where we head straight on towards Raleigh and Pitsy and journeys end at South End Victoria. Our train today is formed of a pair of Network South East livery Class 312s. This particular set was built in 1975 by Brell in York and is built from Mark II body shells. They lasted until 2003-2004 on the Great Eastern Network, being withdrawn before their life expectancy of 30 years. Unlike today's EMUs or electrical multiple units, they're fitted with slam doors, they have no central locking and can be opened at any time. These are most handy when coming into stations, especially at terminals, where everybody seems to alight before the train comes to a stop, and when it does, the train unit is then practically empty. A scene like this now becoming a thing of the past, as a southern region operating companies withdraw their slam door stock during 2007. This is not the only area that 312s used to work on. LTS Rail had a batch of these for the C2C line, and even Central Trains had four of the first generation EMUs for Birmingham to Liverpool Lime Street services, however this did not last long and ended in 1996. The South End Line has seen various electrical types in the past. The first was a 15,000 volt DC system in 1956 to replace the intensive steam hall services. In the 1960s, the DC voltage was taken out and converted to 6.25 kV AC power. The final type installed is 25 kV AC power, which is still used today. This system was not fully operational until 1979.
Our first station, Billericay, located in the district of Basildon. The town is twinned with Fishers in Indiana and Billerica in the US. The town was also the meeting place for the Pilgrim Fathers prior to sailing off towards the Americas in the Mayflower. If you're wondering what the unusual ringing sound is now and again, it's that of the automatic warning system known as AWS. The sound is picked up from an AWS magnet placed before a signal. They are also linked directly to the signal. You will see the magnets between the running lines ahead of us. It informs our driver of the upcoming aspect on the next signal. A bell will sound in the cab if the next signal is clear. A horn sound means the next signal is either a double yellow, single yellow or red. This will constantly sound until the driver responds by pressing a button. If the driver does not respond within three seconds, the emergency brakes are automatically applied to the train. Some forms of modern traction still use a bell sound for the AWS system, such as Class 43 HSTs, 47s and 37s. Wickford Station, previously known as Wickford Junction, is the interchange stop for the Southminster line. There was once a line here to Malden, however that closed in 1964. The town once made it into the national news headlines due to a major flood in the town centre in 1958. Shortly after saw another flood in 1960. Then changes to the River Crouch were made to prevent any further flooding to the town.